York's classic rock, Q1043. Welcome back. It is Jonathan Clark in the studio with, uh, gosh, one of my favorite bands ever. And all four of them are here, Damon, Graham, Alex, and Dave. It is Blur. Hey, Jonathan. Hi, I hey, can't hey. believe you're all in my studio. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank enough. you so yeah. much for coming by. Uh, let me hold up this awesome new album called The Magic Whip. Um, the old analogy is, of course, you've heard it a million times, that bands are like marriages. Some last, some don't. This, this is one, the Miracle Baby. This is the Miracle Baby. Um, so I know probably your most favorite thing is not doing the press rounds, but... Um, <laughs> no, we never gave that impression over the years. <laughs> <laughs> Being together with this brand new album, still together, and you know, working on these songs and going out and doing some shows here and there, how does that feel after... You know, I mean, I know you guys kind of got back together a few years ago, but how does it feel kind of doing this thing all over again? It's 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 feeling it's feeling very um what's it feeling? It's feeling It's feeling really good. Feeling really good. Uh, so okay. long as we get enough sleep. Right. And you know Do you find you need more sleep now than you did twenty years ago? No, Have you taken, no I'm just crying. getting more sleep. Have you taken some helium? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, sorry, I've got I a, have nothing um, on that mic mix, I swear to God. I've got a um a bubble in my throat. <laughs> throat bubble. Just say, just say, have a laugh for me once. Have a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it, feel, it, feel, it feels good because we do, we don't play very often, right? Um, so for, for me, I, it's very joyous. It's it, every every time we play, it it's, it 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 feels good. Um, it's much different now than in 1991. There is a rumor out there now because you guys have done this that Oasis is now getting back together. Yeah, I hope they don't feel under pressure to do that because we've done it. <laughs> I mean. You know, um, well, last time I spoke to um, Noel, which wasn't that long ago, um, well, he said he wasn't giving anything away if if, if they were intending. I think, uh, I think he's, you know, wouldn't be. The, I wouldn't imagine it would be this year anyway. He's got a new album. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, They've actually shaken hands, haven't they? Rather than uh, I heard something about that. Plans. Agreed to disagree. But that's the first step, isn't it? Shaking that hands. is shaking hands. Yeah. Well, they are brothers after all. Yeah. Um, you guys have all been prolific outside of the Blur world. Uh, Damon with your solo work, Graham your solo work. Um, when not being in this band, uh, Dave, you were a lawyer. Yep, that's right, criminal lawyer, criminal, criminal defense lawyer. Criminal, really? That. Yeah. I was going to say that might come in handy in the rock and roll world, but you'd think. But the the, the reality is that uh, the bands of our age rarely get arrested, and the uh, <laughs> Young bands, when they do get arrested, can't afford a lawyer. That's true, yeah. So uh, you have to, I haven't actually represented any musicians. No, I tell a lie. One. Represented one DJ. Ah. Who shall remain nameless. Uh-huh. Haven't that yeah, but they, they should all be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they all are, one by one. Alex, um, you have a farm, and you write a farming column... And that you doesn't have... sound that exciting to me. <laughs> no. I'm sure it's more fun than that. No, but, but like, who doesn't want a no, farm? Well, well, a farm's a kind of orthodoxy for a rock gentleman, isn't it? It's it's that's that's where the, where people in bands end up. Normally. Right. You know, like these. So I've got a studio there. Roger I, I, Daltrey I, I, has a fish he, yeah, farm or something. The, he, was, he was the archetypal yeah. farming rock gentleman. Yeah, but, but McCartney farmer. Yeah. So scene, t- farmer. wait. So tell me about this festival. That you have, yeah. Well, so that's like that's combining all the farm's assets, um, space, uh, and uh, the fact that you can grow stuff there with my favorite things like food and music. So it's a food and, and, ah, and okay. music festival. And Jamie Oliver's involved with this. Jamie's there, yeah. It's, yeah, no, it's, it's, it, it works really well. Um, guys, these songs first t- came together, and I guess a place called Kowloon, which is in Hong Kong. Um, it seems the videos for these are somewhat sort of reflect that. I want. Well, 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 I mean, they do, but it's more the result of us finding this amazing graphic designer called Tony Hung. Okay. Who comes originally from Hong Kong. Right. Uh, and we're just, you know, it's sort of, it's his, it's his vision, really. I mean, the, the second one that we did for There Are Too Many Others was, was just... Uh, an iPhone with us in a, in our rehearsal studio. So. Oh wow! Okay, <laughs> we we have spent quite a lot of time, effort, and money on videos that haven't come out anywhere near that good over the years, though. 
I don't think you're the first band that's happened to. Probably. I think I don't. I, I don't really. I don't really think you need to make videos anymore. I don't think it's actually. Uh, you just have to make stuff, don't you? <laughs> make stuff that you know yeah. you can put music bed underneath it or something. I mean, there was a whole industry dedicated to uh, the music video, and people, you know, it was feeding a lot of families. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, and I think that. I mean, I don't. I, you know, I don't want to see families starve anywhere in the world. But right. I'm kind of glad that it doesn't exist anymore. Well, you got to tell me about the lady making the ice cream. I'm just fascinated you, by you'd that. You'd have to ask Tony Hung. I think it uh, may be his neighbor. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a great video, though. That's a good video. That's just yeah. like a fun video. Yeah. It goes with the song. Educational as well. Um, yeah, exactly. If, if you if you speak uh, Cantonese. <laughs> yeah, I know, because the subtitles are there. Yeah. Um, tell me about that song, Go Out, and we'll play it. Um, well, that's probably one of the most... The most representative of that session. Um, sorry about my S's. I was reading a. I was reading an article with uh, Tracy Horn, uh, Thorn, not Tracy Horn. I forget, I'm getting mixed up with <laughs> Tony Hung and Horn and Tracy Thorn from Everything for the Girl. Yeah, I was oh. reading it in the Observer, and she was talking about s singers, and then just out of the blue, I was just, you know, casually reading it with a, with a croissant and a, a coffee on a Sunday morning. Yeah. And then there's this tirade about my sibilance that I read. It doesn't about. sound so incredibly <laughs> nuts to me. No, it's me. <laughs> You're not whistling. I mean, I you know. But <laughs> now that would be funny if you were doing that. Um, I would no, just put that in a loop. No. You know? Yeah. Well, I am doing it, and I obviously do it because it, that's why she doesn't, she doesn't like my voice because of my s's. Uh, anyway, that song was probably the most. Um, it's really sibilant. This uh, mic. I'm really self-conscious now. I understand what she means. I'll turn uh, it down a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. Now that we're going to leave in. I'm sorry. That will not be an edit. There's no... There's no That's an exclusive. That, that came to you uh, from our sponsor, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Don't we wish. Uh, 140 calories per can. Um, go out. Uh, go out. Yeah, it was... <laughs> it was, you know... We, we had five days, and we we had a, like a bag of loose ideas, and um, I think that was one of the ones that you know really just came out of a, a proper kind of jam together. Okay. You know? And and yeah, so I think I think in a way it was a good good song to put out first because uh, it's got the spirit of, of of what those sessions were like, and they were fantastic. You know, five days to get a whole record done. In That's like not, not finished, because right? There's you know that. That's be almost Beatlesque, you know. Well, I, I think it's fair to say we are Beatlesque. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, really quick, I'm wondering your thoughts on that uh, documentary. I don't know if you loved it or hate it. Live Forever, Britpop, 2003. I haven't seen it. You never saw it. No. What's you're it, what, you're what, all over it. What's it about? I Brit never Pop. saw it either. Blur Oasis. What's that? Pulp. What's Britpop? <laughs> you know, uh, maybe I all those bands. I think you should watch it, <laughs> guys. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. I'm afraid. Really? No. Wow. Okay. Have you seen it, Graham? No, I haven't seen it. No. <laughs> uh, my, my throat bubble has dispersed. It has. You're <laughs> back to normal now. I'm back to normal. Now I've got throat gravel. Yeah. I have never seen it forever. There's no Butch soap. Theory. No. No, I haven't seen it. I'm, I, I, I find it embarrassing. I find books about it embarrassing, uh, any documentaries about it embarrassing, because I think they're trying to polish a turd. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a whole lot about nothing. And if you've really. ever tried doing that, it's embarrassing. Yo, I've never tried that. I tell you what, though, I, I I have had to. I, I once had quite. I got quite close proximity to my turds once really? because <laughs> I've got a gold. Well, doesn't everyone? Gold, I've got a gold two gold teeth, but one of them fell out and I swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was damned if I was going to buy a new tooth. I look. I hear. I hear you. So, so you were I had fishing. To, <laughs> I was fishing every day. <laughs> How long did it take? We come it actually took longer than I thought. Mm. And then it, then, then I <laughs> panned for gold, and one day, <laughs> there it was. And you were rich all of a sudden. I was, well, and, and then I washed it and got someone to stick it back in my mouth. Oh, my. <laughs> you did, why'd you wash it? <laughs> True <laughs> tales from life on the road with blur. Amazing. I, uh, I, 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 I hasten to add, I, I think it was sterilized. Well, that's good. Is there a UK invasion going on, like UK invasion number six or seven here in America now? It's different musically, obviously, than when you guys in the early 90s, but 
I mean, it seems like there's so many artists coming in to do this show. I, I don't know. I think uh, I think since we didn't kind of uh, jump up and down and go, let's invade Ukraine, I don't think. Yeah. Uh, I think it's all over. I think we, you're either need a new president, and we need a new prime minister. I think <laughs> at the moment it's, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a little bit frosty, probably. I mean, nothing to do with us. Obviously, we love America, but I think. Uh, no, I don't think it's... Ne well, t t but you say that. You have had... You know, you've had... you've Sam Smith, that seems to have done very well George here. George Ezra. One uh, Direction. Why have I got Ollie James Mears' Bay. face? James Bay. Ogier's from Ireland, but, you know, I mean, he's blowing up yeah. here. So, but, but basically, you're having Sam an English... A British invasion, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> um, I'll have to do an edit there, unfortunately. Oh, it sucks. It's America. Shame. Um, I want to play Lonesome Street. We were talking about this before briefly. Again, a fantastic video uh, featuring the Phoenix Fly Dancers. Um, yeah, from San Francisco. What can you tell us about that video and this song, and then we'll play it? Uh, well, there. Um, I mean, if you've been to anyone who's been to China, uh, will have inevitably seen people dancing in parks. I mean, there's a I mean, it, in China, people love to do things together. It's, it comes out of communism. So in this kind of new world that they are forging ahead in, the, a lot of the, those habits still continue. Uh, and uh, it's really beautiful, actually, watching people dance. And they have different sort of mu musical evenings. Uh, I mean, the first one I saw like that was in was in was in Japan. That the, they had the, the they had rock and roll dancers, didn't they? Mm. In uh, in Rapungi Park. Uh, yeah, it seems to be um, public line dancing is is big in in mainland China. Well, it's good. It looked great in the video. It's like perfect. But for but the but, song. but then but but they're from San Francisco. Oh, they? they are. Okay, yeah. yeah. So. Well, let's play that song right now. It's uh, brand new music from Blur. Uh, guys, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes, and uh, I wish you the best out on the road. Please come back anytime. Pleasure. Thank and uh, good luck with this fantastic new album. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.